welcome to turn five of Eldritch Horror playthrough. I've made a couple of uh, errors. Uh, the one was uh, I forgot to put the rumor token out here on the board. That's kind of minor. The one that was a little more major is at the end of turn three, I know we're at turn five, um, I forgot to bring a monster out when I brought the gate out at Istanbul. So I'm going to do that right now. I will reach in here and I will call it a monster and we have a ghost. Okay, so I have a ghost and I'm putting it now here. I know I'm a turn late. Uh, both of the characters had an entire turn. Uh, I'm just going to say the ghost was uh, in the shadows and I will arbitrarily say that uh, Akachi used her missive relay and succeeded so she was able to try to close the gate. I know it's a little bit uh, wrong. I just, I'd really forgot to bring the um, the monster out. Anyway, thanks to uh, one of the viewers leaving a comment. I forget who it was, but uh, that reminded me that I made that error. So anyway, turn five. We will start now fresh. Uh, and I'm still having the leader being uh, Charlie. So Charlie gets two actions. And the first action I'm going to have him do is I would like him to try and use his influence to see if he can um, get some of the goods. And one success. This is not looking too good. He gets a reroll because of his personal assistant. One success. Wow. Well, he may as well take... Now, I could take a bank loan to get three, but I don't really want to have a bank loan condition on him. So we'll take the Arcane Manuscript. It's an item tome. It says gain plus one lore when resolving spell effects. So I'm going to actually have him give that to Akachi. She's sort of our shaman, so she'll make better use of it than he would. So that was his first action, and his uh, second action, obviously, he's going to rest. He's down to one health. So he is going to rest, so he'll get back one health. Now he's up to two of four, and he has his full sanity, uh, which is eight. All right, on to Akachi. Um, her first action is going to be a move action. Now she has previously gotten a rail ticket, so her move action is going to be one here, spending the rail ticket, moving up to Tunguska because I want her, uh, this turn the encounter phase, to try and solve the second mystery. Okay, and for her second action, I will also have her rest. She has four health out of five, so she can do a rest action out in the wilderness. So now she's back to five of five, and she has her full sanity of seven. So that is the actions phase, and we'll get right into the encounter phase next. All right, so as far as encounters go, Charlie's here in Tokyo, uh, far from San Francisco now. I think we're going to have a Tokyo encounter, so let's, uh, let's see what happens with him. So here we go in Tokyo. It says, Captain Ozaji Tara of the Imperial Japanese Navy takes particular interest in your investigations. You describe the threats that the world is facing. Influence minus one. Well, he's got great influence. In fact, he has an influence of four, and so five for his um, personal assistant, but it's a minus one, so he's going to be rolling four dice. So this is pretty good, a good encounter for him to have. And five, he actually has two successes. So he succeeded there, and let's see what it says. And it says, if you pass, you convince him to help you. One monster of your choice on any space loses three health. Well, we only have one monster on the board, so uh, that means the ghost, which is lurking in the shadows, the ghost actually has a two health, so it loses three health, so he basically uh, is able to get rid of that monster from the board after, of course, I made a mistake by not bringing it out. So now it goes away thanks to the successful uh, Tokyo encounter with Charlie. And now we're on to the next person in line for encounters is Akashi. And she is on the space. She could either have a wilderness encounter, she could have a uh, another expedition encounter up here in Tagusca, or she can do the special encounter 
which she is going to do because that would solve our second mystery or at least be long on the way to it. So it says, as an encounter, an investigator on Tunguska may attempt to search for signs of the impact in the dead forest. So she needs to make an observation roll. She has an observation of two. So let's see if she can make her observation roll. A six indeed. She makes the observation roll. That's great. Let's have a look at the card. See what else it has to say. It says, if she passes, I'll say she, she discovers a strange green meteorite. He may spend two clue tokens to place one Eldritch token on this card. At the end of the Mythos phase, if there are Eldritch tokens on this card equal to half the investigators, which would be one, solve the mystery. So luckily, Okachi has in fact two clues. So she's going to spend them. Whoops, flipped one over by mistake. She's gonna spend them to put an Eldritch token on that card. So it's possible we will have the second mystery solved, but now we have to go into the mythos phase, find out what happens there. Okay, mythos time. Let's hope it's uh, not horrible. Let's see what we have here. Well, first up, we have the omen track is going to move. So we knew this was coming, but uh, the omen track moves up here. Now it moves onto the green comet space, which has an Eldritch token on it. And because of Azathoth says, when the omen advances to the green space on the omen track, advance doom by one for each Eldritch token on the doom track, or on the uh, omen track. So basically there's one Eldritch token there. We also have a green comet gate in Istanbul open. So the doom is going to advance by two. So it's gonna go from 14 down to 12. Still pretty far away from uh, the end of the world, but let's look at the rest of the card. Now, of course, we have the reckoning effects. <clears throat> so, what do we have on the board for reckoning? Well, we start with monsters, and of course we have the horrible little Migo flying around the world, and of course his little uh, reckoning effect is discard the nearest clue and move the monster to that space. Well, I do not believe that anywhere on the board we have any clues left. <clears throat> so he's just gonna stay right where he is out here in the ocean. Okay, so there's uh, now there is a rumor card here, and it says discard one Eldritch token from this card. So that's a reckoning effect. There were four, now they're down to three. And now we look at Azathoth. He does not have any reckoning effects, but Okashi has that internal injury because the ghouls on turn three pummeled her into the dirt, and now it is time to do the reckoning for this. So she has to test strength. We'll see if she can pass. She has a strength of two. It's not great, but let's see if she can do this. No. <clears throat> okay, this may not be pleasant. And it looks very similar to the one that, uh, in fact, it looks identical. I guess I didn't shuffle very well to what happened to Charlie. Excruciating pain. The pain rises to a crescendo, knocking you off your feet. When you finally regain consciousness, the floor is covered in blood. Lose three health and then discard this card. All right. Nakachi's health right now is five. She's going to lose three of that, going down to two. Pretty painful experience there. Okay. That's all the reckonings. Now we go to... Now I'm not going to forget this time gate time. What does it mean we have a gate? It means we need to have a monster. So let me, let me do both of those things. All right. First gate we have, or the, the gate we have, is in San Francisco. Green Comet Gate. Okay, not a big deal. Now, of course, try not to forget, we need to spawn a monster on that gate. And we are going to spawn, oh, this does not sound good, a wraith. Hmm, and it has a green icon up here, which means there's an immediate effect when it spawns. So let's have a look and see what it says. And it says, when this monster is spawned, the lead investigator, which is Charlie, gains a cursed condition. Well, that is pretty sad. So, we'll go through the condition deck, and I'll find the first one that says cursed. And here we are. Charlie has the cursed condition. That's uh, not great. And it's a bane. 
It says only sixes count as successes on your tests. If you would gain another cursed condition, flip this card instead. If you would gain a blessed condition, discard this card instead. And when a reckoning happens, you roll one die. And on a four, five, six, you discard this card. So that's 50-50 chance of getting rid of it when there's a reckoning effect. Okay, that was the gate appearing and the monster. And now we have Burden of Greed. A little bit of flavor text at the top here. It says, you can't sleep and can't stop shaking. Compulsively, you open up your suitcase, count everything, gripping everything you own so tightly your hands bleed. So it's an event. It says, each investigator may discard any number of item possessions, then he loses one health for each item possession he has. So basically, you need to get rid of items. Um, and luckily, Charlie has no items at all. He has a condition and a personal assistant. However, Okachi has, she only has one item, and that is the Arcane Manuscripts. Um, boy, and I think she is going to, she's just going to get rid of that. She'll get rid of it because uh, she's already down to two health, and that would be her only item, but I don't want her to go down to one health. So there we go. That concludes our Mythos phase, and that concludes turn five. So, unless I've messed up, I hope I haven't. Uh, if, if I have, please leave something in the comments to let me know. I can try and fix it. Otherwise, next time we'll be on to turn six. And of course, I forgot, because at the end of the Mythos phase now, we had the Eldritch token on Seed of the Demon Sultan. This uh, mystery is solved. That is the second mystery now for Azathoth that has been solved. We only need to solve one more to win the game. And the next one I'm flipping up is called The True Name. And it says, Fragments of Azathoth's true name exist in long forgotten tomes. It is said that if a person speaks his name aloud three times, the blasphemous sound will grant the speaker great power. Well, yeah, I don't think I'd be saying it three times. Anyway, it says, when this card enters play, place a number of Eldritch tokens equal to half of the in investigators each on a random space. Okay, so we just draw a random clue token. It will tell us which space. So that will be space number 15. And that's 15 is right here, the bottom of Africa. So we will put an Eldritch token there. Now we'll continue reading the text to see what we need to do. It says, as an encounter, an investigator on a space containing an Eldritch token may attempt to find information about Azathoth's true name. He may spend two clue tokens to place this Eldritch token on this card, to place that Eldritch token on this card. And at the end of the Mythos phase, if there are Eldritch tokens equal, to half the investigators solve the mystery. Well, that sounds easy. Uh, the only problem we have is we have Amigo on the board who eats clues when they show up, if we have reckonings. And Charlie's the only one that has clues right now, and he only has one. So somehow our investigators need to find more clues so they can get to, they can go down here to this space and try and solve the final mystery to stop Azathoth from eating the world. Okay, that's got to be it. I've covered everything off. That's the end of turn five. Join me next time for turn six, and we'll see if Charlie and Akachi can try and find some clues on the board. Thanks very much, um, and we'll see you next time at turn six.